The reason for the bicycle law is probably when they were formed many years ago was to keep bicyclists safe. Mostly, most of the laws exist because um, bikes were given the privilege of operating like motor vehicles, like cars. I don't think anyone ever sat down and thought about the differences between bikes and cars and making laws that make more sense for bikes. If you can't really ride on the sidewalk because it's against the law, the only other option is sort of, yeah. to sort of go in traffic if there are no bike lanes, and uh, that causes a lot more accidents. Where, where do you guys ride around at? Everywhere. We're a, a bunch of commuters. A lot of people ride from work to school, from work to home, um, all over the city. Uh, me as a bike rider, I ride everywhere. Do you, do you ride in bike lanes? Yeah, whenever there's a bike lane, I ride in it. I usually ride pretty far to the outside because you're, you're actually in a lot of danger from doors being opened into your path. So I try to ride a little bit to the outside so I can dodge if, if someone pushes their door open. I use the bicycle lanes. Um, a lot of times the routes I take don't have bicycle lanes, but with inside the city I do use the bicycle lanes. The laws for bicyclists are the same as for cars. They're not going away. Uh, they're on the books. They're there to be enforced. I, I've definitely I've had a couple of run-ins with police where I was yelled at when I thought I wasn't doing anything wrong. Um, they seem to, it, it seems very mixed how they deal with cyclists. I, I've been told to get out of the road and on the sidewalk by a police officer who didn't know the law. Uh, it was a direct need, um, a response to a need in here in New Haven. People were, um, police were not giving bicycles, bicyclists their rights. Uh, motorists weren't giving their bicyclists the rights. Um, a lot of car accidents involving bikers, lack of bicycle lanes, lack of bicycle racks at buildings here in town. Um, the city just, and it, the city can still do more. You see, you see bike lanes in like like Westville and stuff like that. Like people, people that has money and people that has power, and like you don't see them inside like 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 on Welly and stuff, or like on Sherman or or Winthrop or anything else like around that around that region because like they don't they don't come together they don't come together as much as the people and like like around East Rock or anything like anywhere else. Yes, we do. We need more bicycle lanes. We need more uh, awareness on behalf of motorists and police officers that bicycles have a right to be on the roads. When you get ticketed for anything or just something, you got it's a non-guilty plea. You got to check the box. So when you check the box, you mail it off. When you mail it off, they send you back this. Uh, uh, um, a non-guilty plea, they say, your non-guilty plea has been received. The court will notify you for your hearing date. Well, there's consequences. If you get a ticket, you have to pay it. I mean, there's a provision there for pleading not guilty. Then you have to go before a judge and explain why you think you're not guilty.